Okay, let's get rough on the topic that I'm gently walking around trying to get you to understand what I'm saying in regard to human rights, women's rights, and medical rights, and privacy rights, and frankly, our naked body rights. What I'm saying to you is, let's take a scenario. We have a girl who is very good looking, and she's pursued by a lot of men, but she doesn't like all the men. She likes some of them. But one man decides he wants to rape her. Was that his right to do? The answer is no in our society of laws and morality. Now, let's take another situation. We have a person who has gone through a medical process of establishing what's wrong with them. They're trying to figure out why they're unhappy in life. Not at all. They're trying to figure out what's going on with their internal organs, their headaches, their, all these problems that they're having, and they can't figure it out without going to specialists. So they go to specialists and they find out gradually over the course of time of talking with specialists, dealing with specialists, dealing, going to different specialists, using second and third opinion rights to figure out how to handle their body. The first guy says, okay, you got her tourist syndrome. The second guy says, okay, you got gynecomastia. The third guy says, no, here's what I think we need to do. I think we need to fix your hormone balance and that will take all the way all the headaches, all the external hemorrhaging, all the other things you're dealing with and let's see if it's right for you. The third guy wins. And the person goes off to an incredibly productive, healthy, performing life. And the issues of medical health become way low on his priority list because he's content. He's at peace with himself. And he's productive. And he's performing. And he's successful in his mind of what is success. So, do you get this?